मिस शिल्पा कंटेकुरे एंड टुडेज टॉपिक फॉर अवर लेक्चर इज असाइनमेंट मॉडल्स इन ऑपरेशन रिसर्च हियर आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बेसिक्स ऑफ असाइनमेंट मॉडल इन ऑपरेशन रिसर्च एंड दे विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन द ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन फॉर असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग हंगेरियन मेथड these are the contents so i will first walk you through the basics of assignment model and then we will learn about how to determine the optimal solution for assignment problem using hungarian method now let's see what is an assignment model so assignment model is generally it deals with the optimal allocation of tasks to the resources now here the resources can be agents can be workers can be machines and using assignment model we have to assign the resources to the particular tasks efficiently now here assignment model focuses on the assignment to exactly one agent so it is a one to one assignment now goal of this is to minimize cost time or to maximize efficiency now what are the applications of assignment model so if we consider the mission in is the to schedule the work forces that means we have to assign employees to the shifts different shifts efficiently the another application of assignment model can be the vehicle routing so it will efficiently allocate the delivery vehicles to minimize the transportation costs then application in manufacturing can be to assign efficiently machines to tasks to minimize the downtime then if we consider the education sector then assignment of efficiently of the teachers to courses based on their expertise so these are few applications of assignment model in day to day life now this is a cost matrix so whenever we are dealing with the assignment model and we are trying to give the optimal solution then cost matrix is what we need so here if there are 1 to n number of machines and there are 1 to n number of jobs then we have to prepare this cost matrix where it is the cost required for machine i to allocate to the job j so the cost element c i j it is the cost which the machine i is required for to allocate to the job j like that we have to get this cost matrix now there are different types of assignment problems so the first one is the balanced assignment problems where there is equal number of task to the resources then the second one is the unbalanced assignment problems here the number of tasks and the number of resources are not equal then the third one is the infeasible here it has restrictions where certain assignments are possible or not so for example i have a particular job and one of the person is available but i cannot assign that particular job to the available person because he lack the needed expertise in that so even though resource is available but the assignment is not possible so such types are they come under the infeasible assignment problems so here in this lecture we are learning how to do the assignment using the hungarian method now these are the flow chart which shows the steps of hungarian method so at the beginning at the start when we get the cost matrix so first step is that we have to 
go for the row reduction okay so row reduction means we have to subtract the least or the minimum element of one row one particular row from the all the elements of that row then the next step is the column transformation or column reduction here what we do in each column whichever is the least or minimum element we are going to subtract that from the other rest of the other elements of that column once we are done with row and column reduction then we have to draw lines and the number of lines should be minimum so that we can cover all the zeros zero elements which are present after doing that we have to decide that the number of lines which is smaller than the rank of the matrix smaller then we have to go to the next step which is we have to overwrite the elements okay and after overwriting we have to update the matrix now whatever after updation whatever new matrix we get again we have to cover all the zeros present in that cost matrix with the minimum number of straight lines and then again we come to the decision and check that whether the number of the lines is smaller than the rank of the matrix and this will continue till we get the answer no so when the number of lines and the rank of the matrix are equal then we have to we have reached to the end that means assignment is done efficiently now let's solve an assignment problem so we will understand the concept more clearly now here is the problem now these are the machines which are denoted by a b and c letter and here are the jobs which are job 1 2 and 3 and this is the cost matrix for this numerical so if we look here so this is a 3 by 3 square matrix so as it's a square matrix and 3 by 3 so number of rows and number of columns are same that's why this is a balanced assignment problem now we'll move to the solving this problem so step 1 as we have seen in the flow chart of the steps for the hungarian method so step 1 is the row reduction so row reduction means from each respective row i will first find out the least minimum element and then i will subtract that element from the rest of the elements of that particular row now here if we consider row 1 then the minimum element here is 5 in row 2 the minimum element is 10 and in row 3 the minimum element is 13 so i am going for row reduction so here so minimum element is 5 so 5 minus 5 will be 0 then 7 minus 5 will be 2 and 9 minus 5 will be 4 similarly in second row the least element is 10 so 14 minus 10 will be 4 10 minus 10 is 0 and 12 minus 10 is 2 in row 3 the least element is 13 so 15 minus 13 is 2 13 minus 13 is 0 and then 16 minus 13 is 3 so this is the new cost matrix 
after the row reduction step 2 is the column reduction here we will do first find out the least minimum element in the each column and then we will subtract that element from the rest of the elements of that particular column and while doing this we are considering the cost matrix which is obtained in step 1 we are not applying the column reduction for the original cost matrix so here let's find out in the column a 0 is the least element in column b again 0 is the minimum element and in column c 2 is the minimum element so i am going to subtract 0 from column a so the, there will be no changes in the values of the column a similarly for column b again the least minimum value is 0 and if i subtract 0 there will be no change in the column b now in column c the least element is 2 so 4 minus 2 will be 2 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 2 will be 1 so this is what is the new column new cost matrix after the column reduction now we have to draw minimum lines so that all the zeros in this cost matrix are covered so let's draw the lines so here in the row 2 there are two zeros so i will draw one line to cover both of these zeros now here one more zero is in the a column so i have drawn second line and here in the row 3 there is one more zero so now we have to check whether the number of lines now here in this case number of lines is 1 2 and 3 is 3 and it is equal to the order of the matrix is equal to the order of matrix which is again 3 so if this is the condition that the number of the minimum lines we have drawn to cover all the zeros is same to the order of the matrix that means we have reached to the optimal solution so let me write this same cost matrix again so we can go for the assignment while going for the assignment i will first start with the row 1 okay and i will see if there are only one zero available in this now here you can see that there is only one zero available in row 1 so if that is the case i am going to box this zero now this boxing the zero it means that a machine is assigned to job number 1 so this is the assignment now once i do that when i box the the only zero available in row 1 i have to cross out all the other zeros present in this column now if we see in this column there is no other zero is present so there is nothing to be crossed out so i will move to the second row if we see here there are two zeros are possible so i will move to the third row now if we see there is only one zero present so i am going to box this zero which indicates 
that this is the assignment of machine B to the job 3. Now as per once I do this I have to check this column in which I have box with this 0 I have to check this column and cross out any other 0 present in this. So I am going to cross this 0 out. So machine A is assigned to 1 and machine B is assigned to job 3 but still there is 1 is remaining. Now we will go by column wise. Now if I see the column A there is only one zero present and it is already assigned. If I check column B then now there is one crossed and one boxed zero. That means this is also assigned to job number 3. Now when I come to the column C now here is one zero and I am going to box it so the machine C is going to be assigned to job number 2. Now this shows us that machine A is assigned to job 1, B is assigned to job 3 and C is assigned to job number 2. Now to find the optimum solution and its related value we have to go to the original matrix the first matrix and see what values were present at these particular assigned zeros. So here this corresponds to the value 5 so 5 then the second it corresponds to value 12 and third it corresponds to the value 13. So if we add all this so we will get the optimum solution of 30. So this is the optimal solution.